Hi, I'm trying to live again and I don't know if this is going to work. I, I don't know how to get my slides on to the, anyway, what I've got here is my other screen and what I want to talk about is there's going to be a full moon coming up that occults Mars, okay? So it's pretty cool. We need to know what's going on. And this is going to be the 7th and the 8th of December. So it's coming up this week. Um, what's What does the occult mean? Uh, it's like an eclipse. So basically the full moon is conjunct Mars and also parallel and declination. So they line up. And the full moon is going to cover Mars at some point. And I'll show you the charts. Now what I hope to do is edit this and put in the charts so that you can see them more clearly, and I'll see if I can work that out. I'm hoping I can. So what's the next slide? See if I can do this too. <laughs> oh, my God. No, that's I didn't want to show that. Okay. So this is the pathway. So if you live in, it's pretty much all the north, okay? Uh, I'm not going to be able to see it in Australia. So um, if you go onto this website, it's Sky and Telescope Astronomy, and they've got a news. You can see more details here. And I just thought I'd put that in there because they're saying that it's going to um, reach, um, so sorry, let me think, occult Mars from much of North America, um, Greenland, Europe, um, even if you're not in the occultation zone, you'll see Still said extremely close conjunction between the two brightest bodies in the night sky. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully I can see it down here um, if there's no clouds. So it's going to be, um, they're going to look amazing in the sky, okay? But what does it mean astrologically for us? How do, how do we, I want to show you what an occultation looks like when you put it on a graph. So let me get to the next slide. And you can see here, this is a graphic ephemeris if you've never seen it before. you can. This is from Solar Fire, and I use a graphic ephemeris for everything um, because it allows you to visually see where the planets are rather than looking in an ephemeris where they are. But also this is set up for declination, okay, not longitude. So declination is uh, north or south of the equator. So I see how I've I've put the uh, black lines in here so you can tell that's the equator, which is zero degrees. And then there's another line here, which is at 23.5. That's the Tropic of Capricorn. And this one up here, this black line is 23.5 in the northern, hem northern declination, and that's the Tropic of Cancer, which, you know, all these lines are on our maps, okay? So... Not only is Mars and the, and the moon, you can see them together here. So you can see the moon. This is the moon going up and down, swings north and south. Okay, these are big swings. And then the red line, you can see Mars. Okay, you can see the F means full moon. So they're going to come parallel as well in declination. But can you see that they are both above this black line, which is the Tropic of Cancer, that means they're out of bounds, okay? So there'll be times if you look at the planets, they go beyond the uh, 23, which is the sun's maximum declination at this point in time. It goes beyond that. That's called out of bounds. And the other thing is, um, Mercury and Venus are also out of bounds, but they're in southern declination. So this has got a lot of energy. When when planets are out of bounds, it means they have no boundaries, so they're more maverick, and they cause a lot more, um, I say, intensity. But usually, it's to do with the weather. Okay, and Mercury brings wind; is known to bring wind. Um, Venus brings water, so it rains more. And Mars tends to bring hate uh, and violence, unfortunately, because it's a full moon. This is can be people uh, more emotional. Obviously, we know it's a full moon. But the fact that the moon's also out of bounds, it's more chaotic. Um, and bringing Mars the conjunct and parallel, 
there's more likelihood of people being angry, violent. Um, there can be more uh, warlike situation. People get, you know, like anxious. Um, so it's, it's difficult, okay, and I just want to sort of put it out there. So be careful on the roads. Um, people can be more, uh, you know, ignited easily. Uh, um, so we've got to be careful with this one. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you, hopefully I explain that properly. The next slide is if you're looking at the actual map, um, you, on solar fire there's different things. I just want to just show you the declination. Here you can see that, that the Moon and Mars are together at about 25. If you look down here, you can confirm this, okay, plus 25. But also on the south side, you can see Mercury is actually the, the most, the highest out of bounds, and there's Venus. Okay, so this is the obliquity of the equinox, of the ecliptic, okay, and that, that you can tell when any planet is above that. And also down in this panel, if it's a if it's pink, that means they're out of bounds. That's a good way to look, okay. Now, what's pretty amazing about this um, is that when we put this uh, full moon on the chart, this is actually for China, uh, Beijing. The the uh, full moon goes exactly on the axis and you can see Mars down here. Now, we know that there's mega protests at the moment and um, a lot of stuff's happening in China. And it's, you know, like if you had have looked at this, you know, a few months ago, you could have pinpointed this happening in China. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual map here, you can see how what, what I've done here, I've just put in the, um, the, the full moon with Mars and also Venus and Mercury because they're out of bounds. I thought I'd include them. So you can see the band where it moves, okay? But look at the line. As I showed you in the chart for China, you can see that the uh, full moon and Mars are right going right through Hong Kong as well, Beijing exactly, okay, parts of Indonesia here and Perth as well. So that meridian there is highlighted, okay. And um, on the, that's on the IC, on the MC, it goes through, well, it's off the coast here of New York, okay, but it goes through South America. So you can see uh, that line, but also the other two that are out of bounds, okay. Now, usually the, the planets that are southern, uh, in southern declination have more impact on the southern uh, hemisphere, okay, and the northern um, declination have more influence on the northern hemisphere. So it would be interesting to see, but also you have to look at this, these areas too, okay, so where they swing. Remember, there's always these, um, I know Hawaii, the volcano has um, started erupting so there so we've got to look at the pacific too okay so I'll, i'm trying to, i'm going to try to put these slides into my presentation now these lines here are called parents we also need to look at them where they go through and then now there's a bangkok manila here like right through it okay and also kuala lumpur in indonesia jakarta have a look at that look Dar darwin gets a bit of a hit here so i'm not sure what's going to happen there but remembering a lot of times when there's out-of-bound planets, it's weather, okay? So we need to be looking at hurricanes, flooding, um, what else, fires, wherever there's heat and so forth. So, um, yeah, so this looks intense. So I just say be careful where you're going around this time. Maybe, you know, don't be around groups. Um be careful if you're planning on travelling on the road because this can be dangerous. Um, people can be a little irrational. The markets might be very volatile. There might be panic. Um, so I'm alerting you. Thank you for listening.